previously in part one we had snow a beautiful walkway down to cradle mountain the boat shed and of course snow cap cradle mountain and lake dove been here before and it's it is quite spectacular there we go right okay i've been here before and it's quite spectacular as a waterfall and there's quite a lot of water now so that should be nice um oh, the enchanted walk i wonder how far that is not quite sure but yeah okay right How about that for a view? Eh? How about that for a view? That's amazing. Oh. So, we're not lying on these yet. There you go. If I put this here, I'll do a zoom in for you. There you go. That is one hell of a waterfall. It's very nice. I wonder if I can put the camera down a bit lower. Yes, I can. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's a pretty nice waterfall, actually. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get up because I'm on my knee and uh, oh, zoom out. There you go. So I'm zoomed right out now. So yeah. So I'm going to go down the Enchanted Walk and see how far that is. Okay, sorry about my face because there's no sun out at the moment. Here we go, so... Gonna go along the creek. Cradle Mountain Lodge. Um, how far is it? Well, now have a look. Okay, let's have a look. See how it goes. Oh. I would imagine one would have to go over the bridge, uh, over the water. So, here we go. Oh. I know, we're going round. We'll have to go back over it, of course. So, very nice here. So yeah, we're just walking about the mountain. Uh, this is the enchanted walk. I can see from here. You can see the cascading water. We'll see how long my battery in my car lasts for. I do have spurs. But yeah, I wanted to show you the waterfall. I've seen it before, unless it's turn it around. I wanted to show you the waterfall. I've seen it before from the bridge. It's quite spectacular. So if I see something really nice, I'll show it with you. And I've just found another viewing area. Come on, follow me. There you go. Whoops. Didn't see that one. You might not have seen that. I still don't understand. There you go. That is 
they can just see the bridge in the background. Yeah. You can just see the bridge. That's the bridge from where I took the footage earlier on, so. Just bring that back. And there you go. Just straighten it up again. So that, yeah. I tripped on this step. Just totally missed it. That step there, totally missed it. So, all right, okay, we're gonna go for a walk on here now. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Can't be too bad, these little kids are walking it, so. All right, get my step count up. But yeah, this is, um, this is a beautiful walk. I'm glad I took it now. <coughs> it's gonna be about two kilometers. So that's how far it is to the, um, what do you call it? To the visitor center. So that's where my car is parked. So. Oh. Hello. Oh. Hi. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. So I have the hands full. So, yeah. So imagine some of this walk. Excuse me, looking at the camera. Um, it'd be a really nice walk in summer. So, actually, I have to keep checking my camera because I haven't changed the memory card yet. I don't actually know how much footage I can get on one. A lot of bird life around here. Oh. I mentioned in previous logs about the white tail eagle has a wingspan of up to nine feet. Can take small dogs, cats, babies. Yeah. The largest bird of prey in Australia. And it's a big bugger. Here's a picture of one. Ah. So if you can see that tree how it's bent. That's just the wind. We're in the roaring forties here. So you get um you get really really strong winds. Oh. Just look down at my monitor, it looks really nice. Um so yeah. You're not allowed to collect firewood from around here unfortunately. <laughs> it costs a fortune if you go out and buy it. So in the summer all the locals got with the chainsaws and cut up we do cut down trees but we do cut fallen trees up and stack it for the winter because you do go through quite a lot of wood. You can just see the water through there. Sounds beautiful. I hope you can hear that on my microphone. I'm using my Sennheiser, so should be good. Little thing for the kids. Don't get many adults through here, but here we go. Look at oh, oh I'm having a really crouch down. I'm gonna crack my head on the top. I'm a big kid. So, oh. Yeah. oh, there you go. Square. And I, I know that sounds, it looks horrible, uh, but one fat poo is actually square. <laughs> square poo. I didn't know the shot of that. There you go. I don't know if you can see that, but one pat, one bat poo is actually square. So yeah, square poo. I'm not going to touch it. Mm. Oh dear, square one bat poo. Oh gosh, whatever next. Oh, so we're going back over the river now. 
This is nice. There you go. Maybe we'll get a better shot from down there. Hang on. Yeah. There you go. Just on the bridge. And this is the other side. Wow. Very brown the water, but that's because a lot of peat around. So very drinkable. Got some of the freshest water in Australia. Or in the world actually. Some of the freshest water in the world. Right, just wait for that to there we go, thank you. Just had to centre the camera again. Sometimes it loses its centre. Right. You can actually see how bright the sun is in the thing like that. Yeah. Where it reflects off the decking. This is timber decking covered in chicken wire. I don't know who decided in the world first to put chicken wire over wood to stop it from being slippery. If you know that, will you please put it in the comments below? Someone in China told me it was a Chinese, but I'm not quite sure if it was. Oh, there we go. Good. Oh, what a beautiful walk. I'm so pleased. And there's the there's a river like just meandering. There we go. Oh I can go this way. Oh look, to give you an idea of the moss, you can actually see the moss down here. a moss covered area. There's no rolling stones. A few beetles. Yes, uh, that was a pun. We'll leave it in the comments below. Uh, and now we're going back round. We'll just swap and switch and turn this path. It's very easy, even toddlers can do it, so we've got to keep an eye on them, don't want them to end up in the water. Ah, there we go. You can see how brown the and red the timbers are here. Oh look at this. This is beautiful. Just before I turn around. Look at this. A little billabong. There'll be a lot of wildlife in there. One would imagine there will be a lot of mosquitoes there in the summer. Give you an idea. And then and we'll go back onto the path. There's so much wombat poo around here. <laughs> it gives you an idea of how many wombats there are. There you go. That is a. I just moved along here so we can, I can actually. There you go.
don't think we'll be too far away from the visitor centre now. Still recording, so I've still got memory card left. I'm on my third battery now. Found it left about 40, 45 minutes. But my hand is keeping the handle warm on the ca on the Osmo. Of course, that makes the batteries last a bit longer. <coughs> We're starting to climb a bit now, so. So if you are coming to Crater Mountain, come along the Enchanted Walk. It really is well worth it. And this is another one of those tiny little things. Yeah. Lovely. I don't think you're going in. Oh dear. I really am too old for that. <sighs> really cute creatures, aren't they? I got lost. <laughs> I got totally and utterly lost. I walked about five or six kilometres away from where I was meant to be going because of the scenery. It's just so beautiful, I lost it. So here we go. I'm back on the track again. There you go. And uh, <sighs> now, um, apparently, I'm meant to go to the end of here, turn left past the lodge, and then turn left onto the road. Um, So yeah, this is, oh. oh dear. Ah. There are signs. Now, they said turn left here and then go back to the road. So hopefully, I did hear where the wombat was, I think, or very close to it. Oh, here we go. I can forget, one bat's still there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I missed one, one bat's still there. Munch anyway. See if we can get a shot of him. Another one. Where's Mr. Wombat? Hello, Mr. Wombat. So I'm now back on the right track and heading towards the visitor centre. Hopefully. Ah, I can see, I can see the road. I wonder if they'll pick me up here. They might do. Hmm. 
Oh, hang on. I come back out just where I was before. So there we go, I know where we are now. If I walk down here, I can get picked up by the bus in the car park. Yeah. Oh. So yeah. There we are. Uh, here's the waterfall again. Yeah. So back to the waterfall. If I walk back here, this way, this is where I can get the bus back to the uh, business centre. Good. So, oh, this is definitely this time. I'm going to say thank you. Don't forget to please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell, ding ding, then you'll know whenever I put one up. And I put a vlog up every week. So I've got quite a few ready to go up. I program them. So, yep, there you go. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.